One of the things that you can do is you can sharpen the pencil a little bit at the end of each line or So for the pencil copper plate script, uh, the last in this series, I'm going to use a Derwent Graphic 6B pencil. So you, you really get to see the pencil working very much like a nib. And as I've said before, you know, when, I, when I'm doing pencil copper plate, I'm, I'm principally working on the structure of the script rather than um, treating the tool like a pointed flexible nib. So I'm not holding it in the direction. I'm just working, trying to sort of work out where the pressure is. And one of the things I do when I'm writing is I, I'll turn the pencil to get to that. See how that edge is sort of flattened? I'll turn the pencil to get to the point. So because it, it started with a T and it ended with a T, I, I tend to keep the crossbar open on the opposite sides.
So the pencil's sort of getting a lot softer and, and a lot flatter and wider at the base. I'm just gonna sharpen it just a little bit more. Now it's, it's sharpened to a point, which I generally don't do, but I would press to just break that point a little bit. Now, the thing to notice here is this. You can see a definite change here, and you can see the pencil getting slightly heavier because the tip is getting flatter and wider. So one of the things to be really conscious of when you're using a B pencil is don't do what you're accustomed to doing, which is not sharpening the pencil you know you're practicing and you're just sort of going along and you can see the script getting bigger but you won't stop the sharpening of the pencil because there's still graphite being deposited on the page so it's it's really important that you you're really conscious of that otherwise you end up with variations so so if we look at this dividing line you can see a completely different shape between these two uh, this part of the line and this part of the line. One of the things that you can do is you can sharpen the pencil a little bit at the end of each line or use a little bit of sandpaper to just sand it down, uh, to, to sort of sand it to a point by just turning it on the sandpaper as you as you go along. So I hope that helps. Um, and, and just remember, you know, if, you, if you're planning to do copper plate pencil practice, um, be really conscious of how you're pressing. If you know you have a heavy hand, don't start with a B pencil, start with an H pencil. So, um, so good luck practicing. And uh, if you decide to do some copper plate, pencil copper plate practice, please do tag me so I can see what you're up to. Thanks a lot.